In early 1906, $30,000 of capital stock was issued and the Appleton Brewing Company was formed with three stockholders. The new concern advertised its bold new product as a healthful beer that would serve as both a tonic as well as a beverage, especially for invalids and those of impaired health. The Perry County Sun attributed the brew's clear and sparkling, pleasant taste to the skills of the brewmaster Paul Klug, adding, Mr. Klug is a nice, clever young man and will make friends wherever he goes. On March 24, 1907, the main building of the brewery was destroyed by fire. By the time the blaze was discovered, the brew house portion of the plant was already destroyed. Miraculously, the Meyer home, located only a short distance from the brewery, did not catch fire. The cause of the blaze was never established. As flames raced through the brewery, Theodore Meyer's wife, Christina, was busy giving birth to their son, Friedelein, just a few dozen yards away from the inferno. It was a day of mixed blessings for the Meyer family. Pharrell Benjamin McGovern, or Benny as he preferred to be called, was born on December 23, 1892 in Indianapolis, Indiana. At 12, his mother died and he was sent to St. Louis to live with relatives. At 16, he began boxing in the lightweight division and earned some local fame. After some professional fights in Panama, his boxing career came to an abrupt end due to a serious bout with appendicitis. McGovern came back to the U.S. and opened a florist shop in the 1920s and proceeded to use it as a front to sell bootleg whiskey that he got from Canada and forming ties with the St. Louis mob. In 1928, Benny McGovern said to the owners of the old Appleton Brewery, quote, I know what you're making and I know where you're selling it. So you're either going to run with me or you're not going to run at all. Benny had been selling inferior homebrew coming out of St. Louis and was pleased to now have access to the higher quality product being produced at Old Appleton. By 1932, the brewery was known as McGovern's. In 